Welcome to Beware of Bears channel. What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope you're not going to ask me about teaming up. As one half of the first ever women's tag team champions, I understand why you'd want to, but the answer is no. What are you talking about? Are you really so out of the loop? Ding dong, hello. All anyone who's anyone is talking about are the rumors that management is going to have a tag team money in the bank ladder match. Whoever wins the briefcase gets a contract they can cash in for a tag team championship match. You get all that, you dummy? I get why everyone's talking about it. That's some interesting gossip. Wait a dang nab second here. You're not planning on entering, are you? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a laugh. You're not the only one looking to improve their street cred. I'm trying to get better at editing my own footage. Only problem is, so many matches are so quick it's hard to get enough content to really experiment with. Maybe you could do me a solid and face someone in a two out of three falls match? Then I'd really have something to work with. This wrestler grew up in the business and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Betty Rage. All these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance. I can't wait to see what unfolds. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. Set your DVR. Katana's going to do something amazing. And from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, Katana Chance! Out. One maybe the loneliest number in tonight. It won't be enough to get the win as this match will take two out of three falls to get the victory. I love a two out of three falls match. I say more falls the better. More falls equals more wrestling. Let's do three out of five, four out of seven. No one wants to listen to you for that long, Saxton. in the corner, needs to recover. Series of reversals. Oh, what a back fist. Ooh, wow, lights out. And she's being held in check here. Yeah, she's on the bad end of every maneuver.
sit straight into the barricade. Uh oh. Good luck catching your breath after that. You can tell a fire has been lit inside of her. She has become relentless at this point. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. And now she's looking to go top rope. On the top. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for him. Three, no. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Reversal. What a counter. She's tipping the scales here a bit. Oh, she got out of there. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And the momentum's clearly gotten away from her now. This is where her grit will be put to the test. Uh-oh. sidekick. Ridiculous standing shooting star for the win.
You've done a decent job proving you belong on the roster and shedding the memory of that Survivor Series match. But you want to really prove WWE made the right hire? Try proving you're not only better than any of the other superstars on the roster, but you're better than two of them combined. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is a handicap match. Introducing first, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Betty Rage. For a young second generation superstar like this, each match isn't just a battle against her opponent. One of the top names in women's independent wrestling, Zoe Stark. Now looking to prove herself in WWE. And their opponent from Utah, Zoe Stark! <laughs> we are about to see a martial arts masterpiece. Both on the ramp and in the ring. From Chongqing, China, Zaya Lee! The mysterious protector has arrived. I have to wonder, Cole, is Zaya truly a protector or are there evil intentions as well? This superstar faces the difficult challenge of squaring off against two opponents in a handicap match. I don't know if you could say squaring off, Michael. Tonight is more of a triangle. Well, I guess that would make you a circle, Saxton, since your commentary is pointless. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh. Headed to the top rope. She goes for the quick pin. Not so fast. Referee caught him in the act. Breaks the count. Tagging her partner in. Wrists captured him. That was nasty. Kick! Taking flight. She comes up empty. What a forearm. She's starting to look concerned. Handicap matches are all about strategy, and right now, her strategy simply isn't the effective one. But that can always change. Distress showing on the face of Zia Lee. This is where Zia will be tested. Zia gets out of the way, comes in off the tag. Wrists captured. That was nasty. And she has gained the advantage here. She's looking unstoppable, actually. Avoiding contact. Five. On the apron. 
apron. All the way to the outside. The referee counted, urging them to get in the ring. Tied up with a ripcord. Torn down with a lariat. She's losing all momentum here. Yeah, but now we'll see if she can hold up against this burst. Ridiculous. She's going for it. So the superstar is riding coattails into the ring, but after the win tonight, those critics might be a little quieter. With each victory, she makes it that much harder to dismiss her as anything less than a legitimate superstar. This win is huge. I'm sure they'll be posting about this on social media all week long. What do you want? What are you talking? Are you? Re I get. Wait a dang. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to talk to me? I heard the rumors, and I want to be in the tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. Tag team? Money in the Bank? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. It's already the worst kept secret in WWE. But did I miss something? Are you in a tag team now? No, but since when was that a barrier to entry? Seems like WWE's whole deal is putting teammates together at the last minute for matches. Not all of them even like each other. <laughs> Touche. All right, I can get you an opportunity. Yes! To qualify. Ah! And don't think I'm going to play tag team matchmaker. Most of the women on the roster are looking for a partner to swipe right on so that they can win the briefcase and challenge Asuka and Tamina for the titles. I don't have time for it. Find a partner and I'll get you in the qualifying match. Now that, I can do. Thanks. Just make the most of it. Winning the tag championships would be no small accomplishment. Everyone in this locker room is acting like they've never heard of a tag team money in the bank match before. <laughs> you have? No, but my point is that I could have. I've been around WWE so long that I'm not thrown by anything new that management introduces. I am, after all, the most winning woman in all of WWE. Anyone would be lucky to team with me. <laughs> Speaking of, do you have a partner? No, but I'm looking for one. Interesting, because I've already succeeded at what you're trying to do, winning the tag team titles, not to mention the SmackDown Women's Championship. We could make quite a splash, a former and future champion with an up and coming legacy superstar. And it won't be my first Money in the Bank match either. I doubt you'll find anyone else to partner with who has my level of experience. I hear you. Experience is important. Teaches you what to expect in the ring and what to avoid. I knew you'd get it, and I'm happy to share it all with you if you decide you want to give our partnership a go. Solid pitch. I'll get back to you. Of course it's solid. Like I said, I know this company like the back of my record-breaking hand.
I'm sure you heard about the tag team Money in the Bank match, right? I would be lying if I said I'm not intrigued. I'm pretty interested too. Winning the first ever tag team Money in the Bank would be very cool. Do you have a partner? Mm, not yet. Do you? I'm also looking. We can make a great team. I know I have a rocky history with tag team partners, but I think our shared perspective could be pretty powerful. <laughs> and what's that? Standing in someone else's shadow instead of your own? I could never help shake the feeling that I was playing back up to someone else in my previous tag teams. I may not have a tag team history here, but with my family's legacy, I can certainly relate to that. I thought you might. And I think it's important for tag team partners to understand each other. Anyway, if you want to team up, let me know. This is all so exciting! A Money in the Bank briefcase with a tag team championship contract? Sign me up! Fanny! I thought you were still at NXT! But are you trying to enter the Money in the Bank match? Uh, do you have a partner? I am at NXT, but no rule said I can't compete for those tag team titles! I'm looking for a partner. I want to team up with someone who's as excited about this as I am. You know, with raw ambition. Honestly? I think that's what got me to WWE in the first place, wanting it so badly. I wasn't always as good in the ring as I am now. I get that. Sometimes it's what makes the difference and gets you the win. I'm ambitious too. I heard they asked you to wear your aunt's gear for Survivor Series, but you decided to make your debut on your own terms. <laughs> that took guts. I respect that. If you're looking for a partner, I'd love to team up. I'll get back to you. How go the trials and tribulations of a WWE superstar who's looking for true tag team partnership love? Huh? Never mind. How's it going, kid? I know from the chatter around here that you've got options, but I hope you're weighing them carefully. In success, a tag team partner is someone you'll be spending a lot of time with. It's actually how I first got to know your aunt. Yeah, I've actually been trying not to bring that up. I know it's a sore subject all around. Yeah, probably for the best. But it's also a great example of what can happen if you don't choose your partner wisely. Although, after we broke up, our past definitely did fuel our matches against each other. It made it better that we had actual history. Any advice? How do I choose? Decide what you think is most important in your partner. It's different for everyone. Do you want a team with someone who shares your values and perspective? Maybe you want a partner who's as ambitious and driven as you are. Or perhaps it's someone whose experience can help push you to your full potential. Anyway, lots of factors to consider. I think I have an idea of who I'm going to ask. Oh? I want to tag with someone who's going to leave it all out there on the mat, whose raw ambition matches mine. I've made my decision. I'm asking Fanny to be my tag partner. Interesting choice. I'll set you up for the first qualifying match tonight.
No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Benny Rage. No surprise. It's WWE's biggest fan turned superstar, mainly fan. And her partner from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, mainly Fanny Fan. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. Here comes the Pride Fighter. And from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Well, if you look up power hungry in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Sonya Deville's picture. Representing our neighbors to the north, it's Josie Jane. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Josie Jane. Josie Jane brings more than just passion to the ring. She brings years of experience. There's no doubt Josie has earned every opportunity the hard way. Josie Jane looks like she's about to bring the pain. The road to the first ever WWE Tag Team Money in the Bank match begins right here on SmackDown. The brand new rookie and her brand new partner are kicking things off in a qualifying match against Tough as Nails veterans Sonya Deville and Josie Jane. I'll be watching to see if Justine's niece can keep her momentum going here after that big win against Ava Moreno. Oh man, what a hurricane Rana. Go oh, right to the kidneys. God. Insult to injury. Got their opponent set up. Oh, a drop kick to the spine. Outrageous right. athleticism on the Hurricanrana. The advantage is turned towards Maley. Maley is firmly in the driver's seat. Left by the turnbuckles. Great athleticism. She's forced onto the defensive now. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. She manages to get control. Tied up with a ripcord. Torn down with a lariat. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, big back body drop. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Drop kick to the back. Hold up. Inverted DDT. She sent flying into the corner. Running Bulldog. Able to get there in time. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Uh-oh. With the counter. Oh, right to the leg. Hold on. She could be looking for a submission move here. Gonna take all the breath out of the body. Last uh, submission locked in. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Is she gonna? And there's the save. Uh oh. Hard on side kick. 
top rope, putting it all on the line. Soaring, diving, foot stop to the chest. She was clearly waiting for that. Nice takedown. She's starting to drag a little bit. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Oh, goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. Oh, look at the triple the leg. And well-timed maneuver there. Oh, look at this wicked striking ability. Turn out the lights. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? Thank goodness. Oh, man. Well, this pair certainly has something to celebrate, qualifying for the first ever tag team Money in the Bank match. It was a huge win in their... What was that? Someone said help! Oh, my God! What's that she's under? A, a fallen lighting rig? Help! How does this kind of accident even happen? Help. Do you really think this is just an accident, Corey? Well, what else could it be? This tag team's too new to have enemies. Oh, we hope she's okay. We'll keep you updated on this developing situation. Uh, uh, just, hold on. Uh. Can't wait to get this space back. Ready? One, two, three. Lift! Why is this so heavy? <sighs> that good? Nah, we gotta get it closer for pickup. Honestly, I'm just glad that you weren't the one who got hurt. Can you imagine? Taken out by a lighting rig. No, luckily, recovery's only a few weeks. Too late to help me for the tag team Money in the Bank match, though. Even a small injury can mess with your head. Believe me, I know. Did they ever figure out how that thing fell? Unclear. Seems like dumb bad luck. For me, too. Finally figure out who to partner with, and now they're not even cleared to compete. Such a bummer. We were just getting started together. You know, I always loved watching the tag matches the most when I was on the road with you. And those tapes of you and Molly tagging together weren't bad either. Ah, yes, your new best friend, Molly. She's not my best friend. Don't you want me to be on good terms with management? Fine, you're right. Lift. I think those championships are so aspirational for me because WWE finally has them. After the women's titles were introduced in 2018, tag matches started to seem even more important. Ow! Excuse me? What did I do? No shade to the current generation, but I grew up watching women compete on TV in tag team championship matches. You did? I have clearly failed to teach you proper wrestling history. Yes! Did you think I grew up in a vacuum and one day said, I think I'll become a professional lady wrestler? No! I watched and was inspired just like you. For me, it was seeing the main event women's championship match at the Brawl to End It All in 84 that gave me the bug. But the tag champions back then were formidable too. I would have loved to see the superstars of today defend against some of the women I grew up idolizing on TV. So what happened to the titles? I don't know. Appetites changed. Management started putting their attention elsewhere, and opportunities dried up. 
The championships, and a lot of the women themselves for that matter, got pushed aside. You did your stint in catering, you know what it's like. Yeah, not the best when you're fighting for limited opportunities. <laughs> you have way more opportunities than I ever did. If I had the chance to accomplish what you can... You accomplish plenty. Take even the current tag titles. Like you said, I never even had a chance to compete for a tag team championship when I was in WWE. They weren't a thing then. In fact, I heard you're in need of a partner. What do you say? Can you imagine? You and me standing as champions at WrestleMania? The Mysterios can't have a lock on this family thing. <laughs> Very funny. Like you could get in the ring again. Did I tell you that Molly said I can't even pick my own replacement partner? Oh? Your best friend isn't letting you call the shots? Oh, shush. No, everyone's clamoring to team up with me since I've already secured the money in the bank opportunity. So they're having a fatal four-way on Raw to decide. Interesting method. You know, on second thought, maybe I want to keep this desk. So many memories. Justine! Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three! <laughs> Seriously? You? Yes! Me! What can I say? I'm a winner, baby! Molly, come on! I can't work with her! What about the stuff you said when you were asking to be put into this match? About tag teams being thrown together at the last minute, not even liking each other? This seems pretty standard for WWE, if I'm being honest. But what about the stuff you said about picking my tag team partner carefully? Don't use my own words against me. That's what I was trying to do to you. <sighs> anyway, there's no need to argue. This has been decided. And I, for one, am very excited to find out whether the two of you can coexist. Won't be a problem for me. I don't believe that for a second. You probably cheated to win the fatal four-way in the first place. Cool it. Don't forget, if you two set your differences aside and pull this thing off, you both win. And so you guys don't blow it and embarrass me, I've set up a training session before the actual Money in the Bank match. You can work out your issues and also practice your ladder climbing abilities. Meet me at the PC.
know what? I think we work better as a team when you stay out of my way. I actually agree with you on that front, because that means you're away from me, too. Why did you even enter that fatal four-way? You knew winning would mean teaming up with me. And give up the chance to be a tag team champion? Even my dislike of you can't sour my thirst for those titles. Fine. Then let's not get in each other's way against whoever Molly has lined up for us. Then we should decide who's going for the pin, just so there's no confusion. I can be a team player. You should go for the pin. Fine. I will.
Where'd Trish go? Certainly wasn't expecting to see her tonight, but I'd love to see what she thought of our matchup. She peaced right after the match. We could never stand to spend that much time together. Didn't you see any of our singles matches? Not the biggest fan of me. But she came to team with you? Yes, she did. Because despite our differences, we respect each other. And we respect what happens in the ring. That's my point. You don't need to like each other to win. But you guys lost. I'm not saying we took it easy on you, but we're WWE legends. I'm choosing not to process that last comment. I don't want to ruin this moment of getting a victory over you and Trish Stratus. Fine by me, but you get my point. You two are as ready as you're going to be. Just try not to kill each other before the money in the bank match, okay? Fine. We both want to win. Maybe that's enough common ground between us. Maybe. Listen, I know I'm biased in terms of what outcome I'd like to see tonight, but I can't get over the fact that we're previewing a women's tag team Money in the Bank match. Women didn't even have a regular Money in the Bank match until 2017. Boy, what I would give to compete. But since I can't, I will say that my niece has been putting in the work. I will admit she's not with the partner I hoped she would be competing with, but as they say, you win some, you lose some. In any event, it'll be an interesting evening. And I'm sure the tag champs will be watching carefully. Thanks for watching, and remember beware of bears.